Hello everyone, it's RB again. Hopefully you are having a great day. Not? Okay, the main reason you're here probably that you're suffering from a slow PC. Don't worry, I'm here. So just stick with me and get a better PC. Now there are many reasons for your PC being slow. And one of the main reasons is that your PC may have got some viruses. So what I first recommend you is to get a great antivirus. Not a great, get a good antivirus. Uh, you can download any free antivirus, but I recommend you to get Avast. Avast is one of the best free antiviruses available there. So download Avast, go to Google and search for download Avast. And the first thing I want to do is from here select full system scan and start a scan of your system. It will scan out your whole system and catch the viruses. Sometimes there are uh, some kind of viruses which may slow down your PC. So you just scan and catch the viruses. And uh, after you have completed your scan, the next thing I have to I want you to do is click on start and run. Now we have to come here a couple of times. In run, you have to write a couple of things. First of all, you have to write percent T E M P percent. That is percent temp percent. And once again, if you have any problem with my accent, then I have written everything in the description. You just check the description. So after you have written person temp person, you just press OK. And you can see that here you have a lot of temporary files. So you have to delete those. All I have to do is press Ctrl A and then press delete. And all of these files will be deleted. Here I have many. Uh, you may have many too. All these files will be deleted. Let them delete. And the next thing you have to do, you have to run to run again. Click on run. And this time run, this time write only temp, T-E-M-P. T E M P temp and press enter and here again you have a lot of files and these temporary files are the main reasons that a PC that your PC is slow. So you have to delete all of those. So delete and yes you want to delete and once I've deleted come to run again and this time you write R E C E N T that is recent and press OK. This here in this folder you have a copy of the recent files that you have opened. Now again you press Ctrl A and then delete. And all this will be deleted. And the final thing you have to do is go to run and write prefetch. P R E F E T C H. That is prefetch. Now press OK. And you need administrative permission. Click continue. And here we have see a lot of files there. All you do is to press Ctrl A, select all and then delete. Yes, we want to delete all of those, we want to get rid of those, we want to get a better PC and after you've deleted, now you don't have to come to run again, you have completed the phase and now the files you've deleted are not permanently deleted are not permanently deleted and those are inside the recycle bin folder and all you have to do is to go to your recycle bin press right click here and click on the empty recycle bin option now empty recycle bin, yes we want to delete and yes and all of your files will be deleted now we have completed deleting the temporary files the next thing we want to do is something more advanced so click on start and control panel in the control panel click on system and security and in the system security uh, in the last option you'll see administrative tools and in administrative tools there are two options free up disk space and defragment your hard drive these are the two things that we need so first of all click on free up disk space here you can see a window and from here it gives you option to choose any of your disks that you have I have said EF you may have many or less so choose any of disk choose any of your disk and then press OK so what your system will do is it will check if it can free up any memory and if it can free up any memory then it will clean that and by this process you have to do um, you have to repeat this process for all of your disks C D E F and once you have done that just you have to move on to the next option and in the next option you have defragment your hard drive so click on that and here everything is just same all you have to do is for each drive you just select this drive and from here you select the defragment disk option and defragment will start 
so by this process you defrag all of your drives i'm stopping defragging now so by this process all you do is defragment all of your hard drives i mean all of your partitions and after you have completed all the steps that i have told you you will get a better pc and that is my guarantee so enjoy with your new pc thank you very 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 much for watching this video i hope it helps thank you